Ha hello and welcome to another video shot by yours truly, Esther Joy. If you, my friend, are interested in love, light, peace, joy, and spreading that to other people, then hit that subscribe button. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about astral projection. Um, when you are dreaming, astral projection is when your energetic body will leave your physical body and go on a little adventure into the cosmos, visiting whoever so they please. Now, there is a lot of, I'm gonna say fluff, around astral projection. Um, some people think that they can't do it, or it's dangerous and I cannot tell anyone that that is invalid because what you believe is what you believe and what you believe is true to you. So that being said, I see astral projection as something that we've done um, many many times whenever we go to sleep as that is what a dream is. Now astral projection is when you are projecting yourself to a certain destination so you're getting a little bit more um, intricate with where you're going versus a dream and you just fall asleep and allow whatever to happen to happen usually dreams by the way I won't get too far but they're always telling you something <laughs> uh, so yeah I have gone on different kinds of projections I have been awake and aware when my energetic body has left me and that has happened a couple of times under the influence of marijuana um, but it also has happened through some intense breath work as well and um, th through those times I don't get very far um, or I don't remember getting very far mostly because I would bring myself back into body or I would be late for school and I have to go back to school. But when it comes to sleeping, this is um, what I have discovered through my own experimentation with astral projection. Uh, the biggest thing is before going to sleep is making sure that I feel comfortable and relaxed so my body isn't scattered all over the place. Just clearing any negative energies. I do have a video all about what I my nighttime routine and I clear my chakras with crystals. But of course, if you don't have crystals, just setting the intention to clear your chakras and focusing on each one, um, which I have made a video about in the past and maybe I'll link it at the end of this video. Um, but those are just really powerful ways to get your energy back aligned so you'll have a better, more restful sleep, but it'll also make astral projection a lot easier. Uh, anyways, I think it does for me personally. So I would like to say that I don't really intend to remember my dreams. Um, if I do remember snippets, I think that's really cool, but I feel like overall it's more of for my subconscious and then allowing that to seep into my day and setting the intent for the, the purpose of the dream to appear in my reality um, has really helped me. Before I go to sleep, it's all about setting those intentions so I know where I'm going, what uh, the purpose of this projection is for, and what overall I am willing to accept. Um, of course, once I'm in that positive mindset, my chakras are cleansed, I feel like my energy, bo energy body is nice and light, and it's easy for me to fall asleep, but if you have a little difficulty, I definitely re recommend just looking up on like YouTube a video with like 444 hertz or a hertz, you know, 963 hertz, whatever hertz um, or sleep meditation music works for you best and you'll wake up like refreshed, it's great. Uh, so when you set that intention, like an intention to maybe see um, your spirit guides or seek refuge in 
a heartbreak of sorts. You can really use astral projection for so much. And um, even when you're awake, I personally am a big believer that your dreams and reality, they are um, not different, not different at all, but it's more so how you approach those things. In reality, you think it's reality because it's fixed and you can't change it. In your dream, if you realize you're dreaming, you realize it's flexible and you're in control. So if you're watching this, then you probably know that reality is a form of a dream and therefore you might have a little bit more control than you believe. So don't be giving away your energy from entities that don't serve you. Know that it's as simple as just directing your attention to the next best thing. So that's how you deal with if you have any bad thoughts or negative entities um, coming up at you. Know that you are being made out of pure and loving light and honestly you should be honored when you see those negative entities because now is your time to shine that light and really transmute all of that um, negative energy into love light and peace so yeah astral projection for a beginner as I consider myself a beginner I'm still learning a lot and though I can feel my energy body form and I can feel when it is disconnected from my body, I have yet to go on a conscious trip. I say conscious, I feel like a part of me is saying that's not true because you always visit us in your dreams. But because I don't remember it, um, whether I choose not to or it would be better for it to be subconsciously there and appear how it will in my reality, I have been allowing my dreams the freedom to express themselves in a way that is serving me and serving my dream body and my awake body. Oftentimes, I definitely do believe that when I do set the intention um, to either find out more about what my passion is or go in contact with my future self. Um, honestly, astral projection is just a great way to literally get in touch with anything that you thought was not possible because it is. So in this dreamlike world that is even more dreamlike than this world, you have even more flexibility to really contact whatever it is that you are needing to contact in that moment. And I've used this for channeling, I've used this for getting more in touch with my life purpose, I've used this for just reassurance, um, I've used this for somehow like tarot cards um, were entwined in one of them. But yeah, you can definitely use your dreams as a means of astral projection to go to a reality or a density that you want to visit. Um, whatever the purpose is, obviously do it in something that you know is pure in intent and your heart is in it. Because if it's not, you might not really see the point and you might not actually do it. So just make sure that your heart is in the right place and you won't have any trouble getting to where you're going to go. Um, you'll definitely get some awesome downloads whatever you need and um yeah just because you don't remember your dreams doesn't mean that you're not astral projection you are still dreaming you are still having cognitive um happenings and other realities are still happening so really getting in touch with that inner self inside of that mind of the mind inside of that energy body inside of the universe going wherever you need to go you will get a clearer picture of why you're here and what your purpose is <sighs> and you're here right now and i think your purpose was to watch this video if you ended the video right now so i wanted to say thank you so much for watching today's video if you found any value in what i said if you're curious to try astral projection then i strongly suggest clearing out that chakra energy put on some nice sleepy music and um set your intent for where you want to go and just watch those downloads as they come into your reality um, for me, it's a great way to integrate your dreams with reality, seeing that they are one of the same in 
one or so ways. Um, anyways, again, really happy and thankful to be able to share this with you guys. Um, hit that like button. It would, I really would appreciate it and it would make me know that you like this video and I can post more likes. So, um, yeah, so that's all I have for today. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.